Home Life is a collection of 60 poems that have been penned by children, teenagers and teachers about how they were feeling in lockdown. So in 2020, when all my events were cancelled, I thought, what can I do to keep me sane as well? Is I put this initiative together to encourage children, teenagers and teachers to write about how they were feeling. And the reason I did that is that I saw so many uh, media articles, news articles about how everyone was struggling. And I thought what would be good is if we could give children, teenagers and teachers to write about how they were feeling. So an outlet in any poetic style. I didn't expect the response I got. I was getting up every day really excited at how many poems were coming through. And they never held back. But what was really surprising is predominantly teenagers writing. And I don't know about you, but when I was a teenager, you you're less likely to want to share your thoughts with anyone. So it was, it's been a really rewarding project. And I thought it was important to share them in a book and publish these poems so that other people could read about how others were feeling and, and not to feel so isolated with how they were feeling. So it's been a fantastic uh, project. I also enlisted 24 other judges as well. And all these judges are people that I've met in life that have made an impression on my life. So it included three police officers, one from Warwick, one from uh, Hull, from the Thames Valley, and then as authors, illustrators, people from all walks of life, because lockdown affected us all in some way. It was important to me to have that mix. So we all helped one another. So it was a real collaborative effort. And Michael Borton, who's a prolific poet, he also wrote a poem, the last poem in the book, but also he illustrated uh, the book as well and the fantastic illustrator Ursula Hurst illustrated the front cover which is very very striking again a brilliant illustrator so it's been a huge collaborative effort and they all helped me to pick the winning poem and then I just had to choose 60 that would, would go in comfortably into the book so it's a brilliant collection of poems which is a piece of history so the winning poem is Lockdown Spell by Oliver Klumpler, age 10. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble, sleeping in my quiet room, chatting with my friends on Zoom, schoolwork done at kitchen table, plugging iPads into cables, daily dog walks through the park, endless hours of baby shark, bouncing on the trampoline, in between our hours on screens, learning all the TikTok moves, even though dad disapproves, stuck indoors with mum and dad, slowly going raving mad, fighting sister, petting dog, watching tadpoles turn to frogs, double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. So I think that was an excellent poem, and that's Oliver Klumpler and age 10. I thought it was fantastic. So he's really pleased. This really means a lot to win this award because it's not only me as a publisher that benefits from this, but all of the children, teachers, teenagers, all of the, everyone that was involved in it, it means a lot to everyone. And the Lockdown Life book is part of history. So this really does mean a lot to, to win this prize. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it.